Hey you guys, I wanted to just jump on and talk about systems really quick. Obviously, I am not ready for the day. Um, I've been like busy trying to get stuff done this morning, so shower, had to wait. But I um, wanted to jump on before I got too far into just doing life and talk systems. So you will see this pile of mess back here. So one thing, systems are fantastic but you have to do the system right like you have to create a habit around the system and if you guys follow me on Facebook I talked about Mel Robbins five second rule yesterday five second rule is amazing to do your system or to help you sit down and create your system however if you don't do it, it is no good to you and it is a disservice so I want you guys to think about the systems that you have in place right now that are not serving you, that are not moving you towards your goals, and that you're doing, but they're not working. Does that make sense? They're, those should correlate together. Um, your systems should be making life easier and moving you in the direction of some sort of goal. Make sense? So, what are systems that are no longer serving you? And I know in the message yesterday, or the post yesterday we talked about what kind of systems do you guys think that you need or what areas in your life have chaos around them. I will tell you I still am revamping systems because as my life changes sometimes the system needs to change. Um, I will also tell you if you are a pen and paper person you need to learn systems that are electronic. Not learn them in depth but you need to know about them so as you build your leadership you build your belief and you build your team you can help show people and point people in the right directions of systems that will work for the way that their brain works. Does that make sense? When I first started in my very, very first direct sales position, I was trying to figure out, am I a pen and paper person or am I an electronic person? And I failed forward. So I had like the note card system where I would like write all the customer's information and everything down on a note card. And then I would put it in this like accordion thing and I would move the note card um, and then I would like keep moving them as I followed up with them did not work for me because my thought was well what if I want to follow excuse me follow up with someone who his name is Jen or whose birthday is in March or who had ordered a specific product from me how would I find that information in this stupid accordion file it didn't work for me um, so I tried a binder. Same thing. Didn't work for me. There was no way for me to search. So then I fell into Trello. Um, Trello does not work well for everyone. It um, is an electronic. Sometimes it overwhelms people, but it's out there. So you have to kind of know and research different systems. And maybe you attend YouTube University to figure out what system works well for you in that specific area. And then you share it. If you find something that works well for you, share it. Share it with the people in your community, share it with the people on your Facebook, share it with the people in your business because you might help someone find a system that works really well for them. I know um, when I had met with uh, Diane, I had introduced her to Trello. She had no idea what it was. And then I got a great text message a couple weeks later that's like, hey, I sat down and I put my Facebook list and my friends into Trello and it was amazing. Great, that worked really well for her and her brain at that moment and she might also need a system around using it and how to use it and what time of day she uses it and what she uses it for, but she at least got started. So I think a lot of times with systems and with our business, we have this roadblock that we feel like we have to know everything and this system has to be perfect before we just start. You guys agree? Nobody's on here. But if you're watching the replay, let me know if you agree. Um, I am a culprit of that. I call it analysis paralysis. Heard it from somewhere. Did not just make that up. But it's so true. We have this roadblock that we think we need to have everything perfect and everything figured out before we start. And it's the same with systems. We feel like for a system to work 100% we need to have all of our ducks in a row. We need to have all of that shit figured out. And the reality of the matter is, it doesn't matter if you have everything figured out. As long as you start something, it will evolve into a system that works for you. So, I showed you guys my board before. 
my goals board and my tracking board. It's evolving. It's my system, but it's evolving. And I'm figuring out what my brain likes to see, what my brain doesn't like to see. When I showed you guys my board, people were like, all of those little boxes would be super overwhelming to me. So that's great. You know that that would not work well in a system for you. Um, vision board wise, I talked to you guys about having a cork board because it does not work for me to post or glue something static onto like a poster board freaks me out. Like I don't want to glue something. I feel like then I'm like fully committed. So I don't like that. So systems, you guys have to start and I wouldn't start 50 systems at once. I would take something on your list. So if organization was organization with someone's look at organization, break it down. Is your life just a mess? Is your business just a mess? Is your kitchen just a mess? Is your laundry room a mess? Like figure out what in your life is unorganized and pick one place to start and figure out your system for that one place. Um, if it's follow up, figure out, okay, let me think about how I follow up already and what works and what doesn't. What system am I using? paper or electronic, does that work or not work? Um, if you're doing it in Excel, yuck. Um, but if that works for you, great. Um, if it doesn't, find a new system or find a new, when I say system, I mean like electronic, like app. Um, if it's follow-up, you don't know what to say, great. Go to YouTube University, ask leaders in your company, um, ask other leaders in other companies to collaborate with you to figure out follow-up verbiage put that somewhere where that's what you're going to use all the time. Does this make sense? I hope that this makes sense because there's a lot of breakdown to systems and there's a lot of things that you can really just like sit and think about and sit and think about and never take action on. So you have to take action while you're creating this system so that you're moving the needle, you're moving forward. And even if it's not an income producing system, you may still need it to just be organized. Like um, income producing for me, welcome notes, thank you cards, things like that. It's not income producing, but it needs to happen. So what is that system around it? It doesn't need to happen, but in my business, I feel like it needs to happen. So um, what is your system around that? But you have to do it. So create the system as you're doing it. So I just wanted to come on because that was like, I always think of things in the shower and then I'm like, I need to just jump on really quick. So if you guys have any questions, let me know. And um, I look forward to figuring out more stuff with you guys. More system talk. I don't know why I just all of a sudden got really bright.